Every time I walk in on the Senate floor, uh, it's a humbling experience. You know, you're not guaranteed the job in the first place when you want the job. You can't just go and get it. You've got to try and you've got to convince the voters that you're the right person for the job. Uh, and you only get it for a little while. And so you got to make it count. One of the things people like the most about policies that we pass are the ones that are no duh, common sense, simple fixes. A lot of legislation takes years uh, for it to pass. You've got to convince everybody else that it's the right policy. You've got to educate members that are there about why this is important. Uh, because it may not affect constituents in their district right now, uh, but you still stay at it uh, because it's the right thing to do. Having served as a prosecutor uh, and still practicing law every day and, and then as chair of the judiciary for the last seven years, criminal justice policies are at the heart of everything I do. I spend more time thinking about that policy world than I do just about anything else. I want to make sure that we're doing it right. Uh, and so er whenever there's a policy that comes up, I, I want to be part of that conversation. It's ju it just means a lot to me. I want to make sure that the system functions as good as it can function, as well as it can function, uh, so that the justice system renders justice. Serving in the Senate has been a pleasure, uh, and it's, it's an honor to represent the, the interests of the communities that I represent, uh, which, which are made up of the people at the most local level uh, that are doing the work of their constituents on a local level. Uh, but occasionally those communities uh, need policy changes on the state level and to hear from them and to work so closely with the team at, at the League of Cities uh, is invaluable um, because the communities are not all the same. They're not all the same size, they're not made up the same, they're not in the same parts of the state and the issues aren't the same. Uh, but having that team there is a great resource and it provides uh, an invaluable team work effort uh, and experience to get things done in the Kentucky General Assembly. It is, it is my honor to be back to Hopkinsville uh, to, to tell you what a great asset you have here in this community representing you uh, on behalf of city governments in Kentucky and congratulate Senator Westerfield for being a 2019 friend of Kentucky City. There are only 38 people that get to do what I'm blessed to do for a short season. Uh, it's an honor to do it every single day.